All right, so I just want to do a quick update on the Flow RPM2 and my correspondence with Flow Paragliders. So I reached out to them regarding the RPM2 and I guess just my concerns about the fact that I didn't feel that the wing was performing the way that I felt it was advertised. So I reached out to them and I sent an email just expressing my concerns about this. And I got a couple emails back and essentially this is what it boils down to. The first email mentioned something that <clears throat> I'm not entirely familiar with if I'm honest. Um, they mentioned that the RPM2 now has negative trimmers which aid launch and landing. So I'm not entirely familiar with negative trimmers. From all the research that I've done, it seems that negative trimmers potentially just remove that reflex profile from the wing when it's fully trimmed in, but I'm not 100% sure. The one thing I can tell you though is that a lot of companies seem to use negative trimmers. Dudek uses them, Everest uses them, Jin uses them, so I'm not sure that negative trimmers will necessarily affect stability in a negative way but I digress we'll move on the big news here is that they mentioned that they have noticed that this wing is not as roll stable as the original RPM and they decided to introduce an RPM to version 2 which is a tamed version and much more roll stable and that any RPM2 that is currently on the market can be turned into this version 2 with a new line set. <clears throat> so that was good news, but I still had some questions. And the biggest question is if someone bought an RPM2 and they wanted to turn it into this version 2, they wanted the line set, <clears throat> is the line set going to be provided for free? I, I've gotten multiple emails from people that felt the exact same way about the wing as I did. I feel like one of the best things that you can possibly ask of a company is for them to listen to their customers, to take in information and to do good things with the feedback that they receive. And also for companies to stand behind their products and if they make a mistake, they admit it and they're willing to fix it. And like I said, in my review video, this isn't sponsored. I bought the wing with my own money and I have absolutely no affiliation with Flow Paragliders at all. But, um, so they replied to me and they said, um, the issue of the oscillations can be fixed with a new line set and they are happy to supply the new line set free of charge. And on top of that, they are actually willing to pay for the installation of the lines. So if you're not comfortable installing lines on your glider, they will pay to have a reputable repair center install those lines for you. Now, just to be clear, I'm sure that this offer to pay for the installation or to send out the new lines is probably gonna be somewhat of a limited time thing because I imagine at some point they are going to potentially advertise the different line sets when you buy the wing. They mentioned that they're still going to offer the RPM2 version one, which is essentially the wing I have for anyone that wants to order that configuration. As they said, they've received a lot of good feedback from pilots that that wing was exactly what they were looking for. So they will potentially be offering both versions of this wing. Now, I'm not necessarily a marketing expert, but if I were them, I would potentially make this into a positive thing and I would kind of take a bit of a page out of Ozone's book with the Viper. So they have the Viper 5 and they have the Viper XC. And honestly, Flo could do the same thing with the RPM. And if I were them and they could advertise the version 1, which is the more slalom oriented wing as the RPM2 Sport or, you know, something along those lines. And they could advertise the RPM2 version 2, which is the more stable setup as the RPM2 XC or cross country glider. 
So that that's really good news. I told them that I wanted them to send me that line set. Um, I'm gonna install it myself. I'm pretty comfortable doing that myself. But I have to admit, I'm pretty excited for this new line set. But I'm curious. I'm curious how much more stable the wing is gonna be. I'm curious of how much agility it's gonna lose. I'm curious of if the launch characteristics and the landing characteristics are any different. I'm curious if the speed is gonna be different. And actually at this point, I haven't even done a full speed test on this wing because it was just so unstable when it was trimmed out that I was kind of afraid to even push the speed bar. Um, I don't have a manual for this wing. I can't seem to find one. There's not one on the website. So I don't know if I'm allowed to use my brakes when I'm fully trimmed out. I don't know if I'm allowed to use my brakes when I'm on speed bar. I don't know any of those things. And with the instability of the wing, I just wasn't comfortable pushing the speed bar. So I know roughly how fast the wing is trimmed in. It's, it's pretty fast. I know trimmed out that the wing is pretty fast, but more or less what I'm going to be looking for is what are the speeds of the cross country wing and how are they compared to the speeds that were advertised about the wing and the speeds of similar wings that I feel like this wing could be compared to like the warp. So at this point, it's just a waiting game. I'm waiting for the new lines to come in so that I can put them on and then I'll make a video showing you guys how different the wing flies with the new line set. If it's better, if it's worse. I'm going to be upfront and honest. I want to tell you guys exactly what I think. So I just want to say that I appreciate that at least Flow Paragliders is doing something and they're watching my videos as well. They're trying to get feedback on their wings. They want to know what their customers think. So as much as it might hurt to have to send out some line sets or to get a negative review, as long as they react in a positive way, I feel like in the end it's going to be good for the company. I feel like it's my duty when a company does something wrong to point it out. And I also feel like it's my duty when a company does something right to point it out. So thank you for seemingly doing the right thing, Flow Paragliders. Obviously, I haven't received my line set yet, so that remains to be seen. But at this point, all on good faith say thank you for doing the right thing. And I look forward to trying out the wing with this new line set. So thank you guys. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.